I want to talk to you today about creation versus evolution, evidence at hand. My nature is to be compassionate and considerate to all ideas and concepts and all individuals. But at the same time, my nature is not to embrace anything until I am absolutely persuaded that it is genuine. Well, there is evidence at hand at the Creation Evidence Museum that can't be ignored. In a previous broadcast, I talked to you about the human footprints among the dinosaur footprints. But that's not all we have at the Creation Evidence Museum. We have the entire geologic column fabricated with the actual rock from the various layers, from the granite, through the Precambrian, through the Cambrian, through uh, the coal, through the Permian, up through the Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, and all the way up to modern alluvium. Now those may be strange names to most of you, but those are various eras and epochs uh, into which the geologic column is divided. And according to evolutionary concept, it took at least 650 million years for those sedimentary deposits to be formed and finally evidence of man was found in the alluvium near the top. But actually, those are all sedimentary rocks. And most of them, to one degree or another, some of them completely like the Austin chalk in Cretaceous rock, sedimentary rock, literally encircle the entire globe. How do you get sedimentary rock? You have to have water in motion. So for a layer to encompass like 11 states of certain sedimentary deposits, the entire globe with certain additional sedimentary deposits, that requires a global flood. So at the Creation Evidence Museum, we have put in place the use of the actual rock from these various layers into a column, the geologic column that we call the column of truth. Now, why is that so important? The world's leading atheist of our current generation and the current popular exponent of evolutionary theory wrote in Free Inquiry, alleged human bones in the Carboniferous coal deposits. If authenticated as human, these bones would blow the theory of evolution out of the water. Well, now, wait a minute. We have better than that. We have not only bones that have been found in various layers. We have an actual cup fabricated by a human being, a beautifully symmetrically designed cup in the Carboniferous coal in the Pennsylvania deposits, but found in Oklahoma in 1918 by Frank Kennard in a huge lump of coal. Well, that Permian coal found in Oklahoma that Pennsylvanian coal found in Oklahoma is assigned an age of 395. That's 400 million years old. Wow. According to Richard Dawkins, then, that would blow the theory of evolution out of the waters. And yet, they will not even embrace or look at this evidence. But that's fine. We have compassion for these individuals. On a Nova TV special, God, Darwin, and the Dinosaurs, it was stated, Dinosaur footprints side by side with humans, finding them would counter evidence that humans evolved long after the dinosaurs became extinct and back up the claim that all species, including man, were created at one time. Laughingly, they made that statement, but we at the Creation Evidence Museum have the actual evidence that man and dinosaur did live as contemporaries and that man has been found in evidence throughout the geologic column, meaning that that whole column was not the product of 650 million years of evolutionary development, but was instead the product of the sedimentary deposits in a worldwide flood.